Hey, what's going on? We're over here. This is a little side extra thing that we found. This is not even in Mississippi. We are over in Louisiana. This is across the river. So across that way, that's, that's Interstate 20. So going across the river would be back in Vicksburg. We came over here to Little. I bet a lot of people don't really come here. This is Grant's Canal. The National Park Service, U.S. Department of Interior. All right, so what was Grant's Canal, you say? So in 1862, I'm trying to talk loud, so if it's really loud, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to talk over the sound of all these freaking trucks and the interstate traffic. Okay, so what was Grant's Canal, you may say? Grant's Canal was an attempt to build a canal, obviously, across the DeSoto Peninsula. Now the Federals, well here's a good representation right here. So here's the Mississippi, right? That's the river. There's Vicksburg, where the town's at. All right, and so Grant thought, hey, instead of having to go all the way up this thing, and that's where the guns, you know, it, it plays, it's not fun to go through here. They sink a lot of ships. His thought was, hey, let's just build this canal right across through here, and we don't have to deal with none of that. So he had this great idea. He's like, yeah, we're gonna build a canal, right? So in 1863, um, the, the Union reoccupied the Louisiana shore opposite from Vicksburg, which like across the water, that's Vicksburg. Grant ordered work on the canal to start. The canal was to be 60 feet wide and one and a half miles long and deep enough to float anything that the, the army needed. So the ground was broke on the 30th of January and the Confederates found out about it. And to stop the work, they put gunboats across from here, you know, and, you know, raining down gun fire. And on March the 7th, after, you know, months of working, the dam gave way and it flooded the entire peninsula. So Grant's canal ended up failing in the end. The thing that he wanted, he you know, he thought it was a grand desire. Up until, like, Grant's whole issue, Grant was not looked upon favorably at all during any of this. You know, Grant really kind of blossomed after the war and all that. But this is what the placards look like, too. You'll see all the names, all of the 9th, you know, like Connecticut, Massachusetts, Michigan, Vermont, Wisconsin and all of the people that accompanied the officer are doing what, you know, the work. So yeah, talking more about Grant, there was, you know, he was not really in favor. He had made a, you know, they all the way up, which I want to get up to Shiloh and I want to do Corinth too. Like he did not have a lot going for him. And Sherman, you know, he was, you know, he had a lot going, but we're coming. The main reason we wanted to stop too is the 9th Regiment of Connecticut Volunteers is here. And I wanted to see the memorial to those volunteers. So here's our last. So that's your 8th, 8th Louisiana, 9th Louisiana, 11th Louisiana, 13th, 1st Mississippi. Third Mississippi, First Arkansas, Tenth Louisiana. Let's see, two companies numbering 144 officers and men of the First Arkansas were captured June 29th at the mounds near Goodrich's Landing. I don't know, maybe we should go try to find those mounds too. Did you read that? There's some mounds around here somewhere. So we'll try to go find that. So yeah, here's the Ninth Regiment of Connecticut, the volunteers. They really have great monuments. But this is their, their emblem. I hope you can see it. Because it is a bit of a... And it's got some of the... Let's see if I can... There we go. That might help. A couple of the pictures from the men who served. And that's a... I guess that's them digging, I would assume they're trying to dig the canal and soldiers 
either wounded or was tired. The 9th Connecticut arrived at DeSoto Point opposite Vicksburg in June of 80, 1862. They started falling trees, cutting roots, and turning dirt. Supply problems, lack of drinking water, and temperatures that reached above 100 degrees took a heavy toll as malaria, dysentery, heat stroke spread throughout the command. With the river level dropping and troops impacted by heat disease, the canal pr project was abandoned on the 24th. Some 153 men of the 9th died within a four month period following their arrival. While the 9th saw no further action at Pittsburgh, it, it, it participated in the Battle of Baton Rouge in August and was then assigned defense in New Orleans. So yeah, they earned the rest, I think. So we're gonna go try to find the mounds and we'll see what else we can come up with on this side. But if not, hey, I hope you like this quick little Vicksburg off the beaten path thing a little bit. You know, it is back roads, that's what I try to do. So I tell you what, if this is your first time here, thanks for coming. I'm sorry I'm having to scream at you because we're literally right on the interstate. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you like the content. If you do, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, doing all the stuff, right? And if this is your not, and if this is not your first time here, hey, welcome back. I hope you like the stuff. I hope you like the Vicksburg content. I'm gonna try to do a whole playlist from here. I'm having so much fun. I love history. History is so awesome, especially Civil War history. Something about me and Civil War history. I don't know why. So with all that out of the way, let's find the mounds. And if not, hey. You never know what you're going to find on the back roads. We'll see you guys later. All right, it's a, a very windy day as always. The wind seems to follow me no matter where I go. Maybe if I walk backwards, it'll kind of cut some of the wind out. I don't really know if any of that will do any good or not. But we couldn't find the mounds, so I tried to find the next best thing, right? And so to me... The next best thing would be, well, where did they shoot those cannons from to mess up the, the thing that Grant was trying to do? And it's right here. This, this is the hill, or one of the hills right here, where they shot those over there, you know, to try to deter him from building the canal. And so if you look, you can see that that would be a pretty easy you know, you, you point that cannon far up enough, you're going to you'll be able to go. And plus, from this vantage point, you can see why Vicksburg was such an important place. All the way up and down the Mississippi, all the way around the bend over there that you see. Boats would try to come around and they're they're not trying to let the boats come that way. So yeah, I thought, you know, since we couldn't find the mounds, or I found some stuff on them, but it looks like it's private property and yeah, you know how that stuff goes. So I wanted to finish that video by saying, you know, I told you you never know what you're gonna find on the back roads, all that stuff, right? Well, I at least wanted some closure to that because we got to see where he tried to dig the canal and we at least get to see now where he tried to or where the Confederates tried to you know rain cannon on him so yeah I'm glad I got some closure anyway so that's kind of neat so yeah more Vicksburg videos to come I hope you're enjoying the stuff and I don't know where we're going next but I hope it's fun I'm sure it will be history's awesome Thank you guys. See you on the next one.